These young guys are just pushing us old guys. They're giving us energy. They're playing with energy. They're willing to compete, willing to work. Wraparound shut down by Anderson. Boy, shot, score! And these young guys are getting better and older, and everything's kind of coming together. It's no secret our decor this year, you know, myself included, we have, you know, very little experience. You know, you got Drew, obviously, who's, who's been here for a while. You got Ole, who's been in the league for a while. And then that next little layer with Dermy, Wax, and Royzy. And I think a lot of them were all kind of around 100 game marks this year. And then, you know, further than that, you got myself, Toby, Klager. It's a good blend of guys that have, have won, guys that have, are establishing themselves as young defensemen. They all have different, you know, experiences. Mikey's a, a very good defender. He's good at covering for Drew when Drew wants to get involved in the offense. I guess if I had a concern going in, is he going to be able to handle the minutes? That so far, he has proven that that, it, that is not an issue. Toby and Royce showed chemistry together, and they, they showed the ability to play against any line, especially when we were on the road. It didn't matter who they threw over the boards. Rebound to Bjorkman. They shot to Fuentes. Score! I forget up until, you know, a few days ago when he turned 20 that this guy's only 19 years old. You know, he could be my son, and there he's out there playing against McKinnon and Stone and guys like that and just handling himself real well. Oh, a hard shoulder by Roy. Royce is one of the steadiest players I've been around. He's very hard to play against, very good, very strong. Walks has a little bit of phantom rooster in him. He's got a little bit of a chip on his shoulder and he plays hard against, you know, bigger players. One on one with Walker. What a close down by Sean Walker. Only having a lot of experience uh, playing on Stanley Cup teams. You know, he had a slow start, but but you know, you're, when you come to a new team, sometimes that it takes time to adjust to not only the the system and the coaches, but your new teammates and your new surroundings. So now he's comfortable, and now you know we're seeing he's a very steady player as well. The shot does not get through traffic. In front of Steve. Drew's kind of the glue. He's been outstanding with all of our younger players. He's been very very good in terms of giving them little tips. You know, he's an extension of the coaching staff. Yeah, fires, scores! He's got such a high pedigree. He's, he's done so much in the game of hockey already. Um, you know, getting paired up with him, he's a guy I grew up watching, and he did a great job staying patient with me, especially that first game. His leadership's been outstanding. His ability to share with those young guys has been uncanny. You don't get that on every team. Behind the center, comes free to Downey and he scores! And every team has good defensemen, but Drew is in the elite category. He's won everything there is to win. He's got experience that you don't get in a, in a book. He's uh, done an amazing job with all of us. If anybody's ever struggling or needs help with anything, he's the first guy to step up. He's one of those guys who can really talk to anybody. Even younger guys, I feel like they can just they can just talk to him and about anything really, and that that helps. He's really good at making guys feel like home here. Try to go fast. I know you're so fast. fast. Yeah, I know. So uh, just because last time they sent two on me, so I didn't have like time to wait for this guy to get across. Yeah. I think everyone can see it uh, just watching any kind of Kings game, but he's the absolute best competitor there is. Kempe in the circle, back for Downey, one-timer, score! He's not going to get outworked, he's not going to get outbattled. Has Stone coming with him, here's Stone down the middle, try the ring. He's going to call out the group on something we need to do better, he'll call himself out with, with the rest of it. I mean, at times I was happy with our defensive performance and cleaning up those issues, we definitely did a better job, but uh, we had stretches in each period where they kind of dominated us in our zone. And we need, to, we need to fix that. He's the first guy to, to point a finger at himself, to say he's got to be better, demand more from himself, uh, but at the same time demands more from the team. They're learning the right way. They're learning how to do their, their job and their craft from some of the, the, you know, some real good people. Centering pass, Henrique, and how did that not get through? Downey got the block. On 
honestly, for D men, like blocking a big shot like that, that that's like scoring a goal for us. Um, block shots are a huge part of this game. A lot of players don't even, aren't even willing to do it. And, uh, you know, every defenseman in our team is. That is what we want to build our young defenseman's foundation around. The ability to, to go out there and not be afraid to who you're against because you can defend. Teams are so quick now, you want to close on them quickly and stop the progression as fast as you can. The quicker we can break out and the quicker we can defend, the quicker we can go back on offense. Oh, Here they are, decisive, and they score! When they're going good, I just stand behind them. And when they go bad, and they will, and they struggle, I'll stand in front of them, I'll protect them. Sometimes it's easy to poke holes in guys' games, but they're young players and it's a tough position to break into. He's done a good job of, you know, you make a bad play and, and we might know it wasn't the best play, but he doesn't try and tear you down for it right away. He'll let you just keep playing the game. Even if uh, something doesn't go right, it's not gonna be the end of the world. Just go back out there, do it again. The blue line it comes. And that shot will wide the target. Jumps off the end boards. Anderson scores! It's obviously a learning curve for some guys when they get up fast, but you know, I think you've seen these guys can play. We have the, the ability to defend very well and contribute offensively. Going forward, we're going to be a really tough team to play against. We can defend really well, and I think we're going to have a lot of guys that can uh, hurt other teams from the back end. Every game for them is experience. But I know it's exciting for us as a staff to watch their growth. They know the systems. The system isn't going to change. They know the people. It's, it's about them uh, doing what they do well and see where it takes them.